Most advanced medium combat aircraft is an Indian program of a fifth-generation fighter aircraft. It is being developed by an aerospace industry team which consists of aeronautical development agency as a design firm and to be manufactured by Hindustan Aeronautics Limited Health. It is a single-seat, twin-engine, stealth supermaneuverable all-weather multi-role fighter aircraft. Unofficial design work on the started in 2008 with official work started in 2011 and completed in 2014. In 2008 Indian Navy joined the program for the naval variant optimized for the aircraft carrier's operation. The first flight is scheduled to occur in 2023 to 2024. It is a multi-role combat aircraft designed for the air superiority, ground attack, bombing, intercepting, strike and other types of roles. It combines supercruise, stealth, AESA radar, maneuverability, and advanced avionics to overcome and suppress previous generation fighter aircraft along with many ground and maritime defenses. The preliminary design was changed several times to adopt new model engines, radars and long-range missiles like how the A-10 developed to carry a Fugau-8 Avenger cannon. They also developed to carry multinational equipment like missiles, radars and engines. Currently more than 4,000 employers assigned into the project where they extracted from ADA, DRVO, Shell and some other leading private companies. The team identified three major technical works, which are thrust vectoring, super cruise engines, active radars and other processing system and the radar absorbent material. Engine India asks for a joint development of fifth generation engines with foreign nations. It's reported India might need more than 2000 plus engines for. India already has initiated the engine project named Kovari. India wants the new engine who powers the must be based on the Kovari. In response many foreign nations responded for the joint engine development program. Currently three countries tries to seal the engine development program. US, France and England offers their known engine companies like General Electric, Snegma and Rolls-Royce respectively. GE from America offered engine development based on the F-414 engine and the Snecma announced the M88 engine who powers the Rat Daily and the Rolls-Royce also offered the EJ200 engine for joint development with Kaveri. As per last known reports, U.S. company General Electric leads in the program, who already supplying F-400 for engines for LCA Tejas. GE also says UPS manufacturing plants in India to produce aviation engines in India. Radar has same like every other fifth generation fighters, the two hosts superior avionics and sensor suites. The hosts new generation GAN based AESA for superior detection and performance. Currently there is no fighter jets has GAN based ASA radars. However many ground based radar available with GAN transceiver modules. Some informations reported that. State-owned LRE is initiated a project to develop a small-size airborne X-band GAN-based ASA radar for LRE already shows a model of ASA radar in last year's Aero India exhibition. However the UTOM is not good for fifth-generation fighters like it's reported earlier that India and Israel working for a joint project to develop a GAN-based AESA for fighter jets. However due to the importance of the program the informations are highly classified. It's clear the radar to be a joint venture between either US or Israel. Sensor the infrared-based systems like IRSD, missile warning systems, laser warning system also added internal E in the the IRSD sensors are placed in all sides of the two provide full angle coverage like in Rath Daily and F-35. 
the proposed IRSD system is work similar to the F-35 SUTs who shares the information to friendly units like via the satellite and highly secured data links. Also comes with self-protection jammer system to jam enemy radar guided missiles from both air and ground. Electronic countermeasure systems to confuse the infrared guided missiles and the radar warning receiver too added to detect enemy radar frequencies. The same your suites and led by the LRE and Belt which include many private and foreign contributes. Propulsion and A. The Onyx is a twin engines aircraft which is powered by 2x GDRE K9 Plus or K10 engine that can capable of producing 11 KN 125 KN thrust each. Dot. The aircraft has a maximum takeoff weight is 29 tons colon 2 tons of internal weapons and 4 tons of internal fuel. Dot. It can achieve maximum. Speed of 2.5 plus Mach 2665 plus kilometers slash H at altitude and Mach 1.2 at sea level and have a cruise speed of Mach 1.6 at super cruise. The would have range of 2800 kilometers and climb at the altitudes at 13716 m slash minimum. The HAL has integrated with latest avionics suite which include ASA radar integrated avionics systems helmet mounted display data link capabilities IRSDE slash O targeting system UVs multifunctional integrated radio electronics system Myers ECM suite laser based countermeasures against infrared missiles IRSD for airborne target ultraviolet warning sensors and targeting pod Armaments The armaments includes 23mm GSH, 23 cannon gun and 8 hard points in stealthy configuration and 12 maximum hard points ID non-stealth load. The aircraft is mounted with Astra missile for long-range BVRAAM combat Python 5 all expect short-range missile and Vimbil R-73 short-slash-visual-range combat missile. In November 2010, the ADA sought 9,000 crore approximately 1.5 billion euros billion of funding for the development of the advanced medium combat aircraft. P.S. Subramanian subsequently stated, We have just started working on this fifth generation aircraft, for which we had already received sanctions to the tune of 100 crore. The way the government is cooperating. I am able to say that we will receive the funding 9,000 crore in the next 18 months. Funding was utilized to develop two technology demonstrators and seven prototypes. Design funding of 100 crore was approved in March 2011. Project also contributed to the universities and startup. With more than 700 crore was contributed from AMCA's funding to the various startup and 1,000 crore to the various universities. Full funding for the research and development was approved by MOB in March 2015 along with the procurement of the first batch of 200 AMCA which includes 150 for the Indian Air Force and 50 for the Indian Naval Air Arm. Initial development cost stands around 5,000 crores. It's reported the will be ready by early 2020 or before and he'll start flying the first flight of fully developed by 2021. With the initial low rate initial production by 2024. And the Air Force gets the first squad by 2025. If all things goes per schedule. Thank you for watching. Please like comment and subscribe.